see what you meant to this stuff like this. <laughs> a blacksmith by trade. He used to live on his own. She was a little old maid. She was all gristle and bone, just a crone that you might not have fancied yourself. She was not born to attract. She was lined up for the shelf. If it were not for the fact the blacksmith loved her well, he loved her like hell, he used to grunt and sigh. Fit to die, but from afar, for he was shy. That's what blacksmiths often are. <laughs> she made a meagre livelihood from a homemade toffee that she'd sell up and down the neighborhood to a butterscotch and caramel clientele. She used to think that she would get a husband yet. She was far too modest to wink, too proud to be coquette. You bet, cause she got a squint. She was skinny, she was skint. It never seemed that she so palpably bizarre banal could ever be a farmer for Time was no time to spare, and the years went by as they must. The spinster shivered with despair, and the blacksmith sweated with a lust bit to bust until one day she went into the church, her simple heart to unclose. Lord, don't leave me in the lurch. Don't turn up your nose, God knows I'm not much cop. But me legs go up to the top. Oh, tell me why you have passed me by. And if you can, dear Lord on high, get me a man. She, she was in for a shock. For I in the tower like a bird. The smith was mending the clock. And he had overheard every word, he nearly fell off his perch with delight. But the stout fella, he kept his head. He didn't snigger as a lot of men might. But in the tones of Jehovah instead, he said, You're not bereft, there's a good lad left. He's nothing flash, but still reliable, staunch and a true dear daughter. Will a blacksmith do? <laughs> the spinster's eyes opened wide when she heard the almighty one. In a trembling voice, she replied, Lord, any man is better than none. Whereupon the joyous blacksmith went home at the trot, dressed up to kill in a tick. Went and asked her if she'd have him or not. She said, yes, don't quick. Because she knew her state, it's daft to wait when love is overdue to miss your cue, delay or demur in answer to a little creed occur. Now this is as much a romance as all of the others that you get, and not so much a song and a dance. As your Romeo and Juliet, not as wet because their love didn't go to the head. No call to go berserk. Spinster went up to bed. Blacksmith went to work. Don't smirk, such loves are few. They were happy, they were true, they knew their heart's desires, as love requires. With some deceit. He used his fires to boil up her sweets. 